This is Mike with the Strawberry Store. This segment of the germination uh, video uh, is uh, fairly short. After we uh, finished uh, seeding the flat, we uh, put it into what, what is called a boot tray that's uh, got about a quarter of an inch of water in it. Uh, you can see that it's uh, soaking up the water pretty well. This uh, uh, tray will sit in here for pr probably between uh, six and eight, maybe ten days, depending on the variety. It takes about that long for uh, germination to occur. Uh, we'll come back to it uh, in a few days when uh, the seeds have started germinating. One of the things that I want to note is that you can cover the, uh, the trays, whatever tray you're using, with uh, a humidity dome. We don't really find it necessary here indoors uh, to, to cover it. Uh, seems to be enough uh, humidity above the uh, above the tray uh, and also we don't have wind coming through here or high temperatures it's uh, normally at house temperature which is about 70 72 degrees almost uh, all the time in the nights it may dip down into the mid 60s uh, in this particular area but uh, uh, it's pretty constant the temperature is and that's really what you want you want a temperature between 65 and 75 degrees the other thing I wanted to show you is uh, this uh, particular contraption or setup. Uh, this is called a uh, floating raft system. There's water underneath the, the styrofoam uh, uh, section that you see in there. We've drilled uh, two inch holes uh, through the styrofoam. It's one and a half inch styrofoam. Uh, these are some uh, new varieties that, uh, that we've seeded uh, just a few minutes ago. And uh, I haven't got them labeled yet, but there's two, two new varieties in here. We put uh, one seed per container and uh, the containers were set into the water you can see the I don't know if you can see the water moving around in there or not but uh, the uh, container is sitting in about uh, about a quarter of an inch of water we find these uh, uh, this system to be, work pretty well uh, because it uh, keeps the pots from tipping over you can see it's floating around in there moving around in there right now uh, on the waves that I created. I'm going to set up a bubbler on it here in a few minutes uh, with an air stone to make sure that we've got the uh, water aerated. Uh, it's not really necessary at this point but I don't want to forget to do it. When the seeds have sprouted and started to uh, send their roots down they're going to need aeration or they're going to have some problems. So I just wanted to uh, to show you that. This is how we we germinate uh, seeds for a number of uh, vegetables and so forth that we grow here in our cold frames and uh, you know for our own use and uh, we also do uh, do this for rare strawberry varieties where we have just a few seeds uh, or we're, where we're doing some breeding work and we have just a few seeds that we want to germinate at a time or they're uh, pretty precious because we only have a uh, limited number. Uh, you can see that the uh, the moisture is starting to come through uh, this particular <coughs> <clears throat> this particular one is starting to show moisture up to the top already. Okay, uh, that concludes this uh, segment.